Hello, Corpus Christi. My name is Logan Cobbs. I'm the Director of Communications for the city, and it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the long-anticipated Water Garden Grand Reopening. To see so many community members gathered here today to celebrate with us is truly an honor. As we enjoy the festivities this evening, I am pleased to introduce a leader whose dedication has been pivotal in guiding our city to this special day. Please join me in welcoming our mayor, Paulette Guajardo, to share a few words about this celebration. You're welcome, ma'am. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Logan, for that warm welcome. It's a true pleasure to stand before you tonight at the grand reopening of our cherished water garden. I want to first take a moment to recognize the elected officials who are joining us this evening. State Representative Todd Hunter is with us. Let's give him a round of applause. We have District 1 Council Member Everett Roy. District 2 Council Member Sylvia Campos. We have District 3 Council Member Roland Barrera. And we have at large Council Member Jim Klein. We have our Chief of Police, Mike Markle. And we have our Chief, our Fire Chief, Brandon Wade. Before we begin the program, I would ask that you join me in a special remembrance for Corpus Christi Police Officer Kyle Hicks, who was lost in the line of duty this past week. Tonight is the first time in history that we are shining lights in honor of a fallen officer in Corpus Christi. Let us join in unity to pay tribute to his dedication and bravery and now the Corpus Christi Fire Department Honor Guard will pay tribute to his service and sacrifice.
Thank you. I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to the dedicated staff at the Art Museum of South Texas who have assisted the city's communications team in planning this fantastic event. And to all the vendors who are adding flavor to our festivities today. A special thanks also goes to our partners at the American Bank Center, the Asian Cultures Museum, the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History, and the Harbor Playhouse. Your collaboration exemplifies the spirit of community that makes Corpus Christi so exceptional. The Water Garden, now revitalized, stands as the heart of the Sea District, connecting and enhancing the synergy among surrounding attractions. It is once again poised to be a central feature of the Corpus Christi Bayfronts, drawing residents and visitors alike. With the development and opening of the new Harbor Bridge, we look forward to a future where the Water Garden will play a crucial role in linking our city's cultural and economic threads. Where we stand today, ladies and gentlemen, is a sacred and cherished place in Corpus Christi. 36 years ago, this very month, the gardens were built. They have been witnessed, or they have witnessed thousands of celebrations, such as weddings, quinceañeras, proms, and graduations, just to name a few. In the coming weeks, numerous high school graduates on the cusp of embarking on their next journey will graciously utilize the picturesque setting of our water garden to commemorate the significant milestone of their high school graduations. This moment holds profound significance as it promises to etch lasting memories in the hearts of countless families celebrating the achievements of their cherished graduates. So let us embrace this moment because it is a new day in Corpus Christi. Let this day be marked by joy as we witness the renewal of the water garden and the resurgence of its waters and the lights symbolizing the brightest days ahead for our great city. I hope you all enjoyed the celebration and thank you for being a part of such a significant occasion. Testing, testing, okay. So as we continue with tonight's event, I am pleased to introduce a talented voice from our community, Kylie Cooper. She is the editor-in-chief of The Bend Magazine. Kylie has graciously agreed to share an inspiring poem with us. So join me in welcoming Kylie to the stage. Testing, testing, okay. Thank you, Logan. A garden, a city, filled with roots and potential, the growth we long for. From a seed to a sprout, budding optimism and flowering progress, a community blooms. Both then and now, collective memories gather here. Shared stories of life's little moments, the pictures and the picnics. A garden, a city, filled with beauty and variety, the growth we long for. Stop and take a second. Look around, smell the roses, admire the unique assortment and the pictures that they paint. Refresh, restore, repair. Treat with tender, loving care. Turn on the spigot and let the water flow. A garden, a city, filled with life and possibilities, the growth we long for. Nourish, provide, nourish, nourish provide, sustain. Listen to the sound of the water's rippling voice. Let it guide your hands and your heart. Understand its life-giving purpose. Gentle streams and pollinating bees set up the next generation of blooming ideas. 
Water its soul, water its soil. A garden, a city, filled with hope and gratitude. This, here, is the growth we have longed for. Thank you. Thank you, Kylie, for that beautiful rendition. Your words remind up as the renewed water gardens represents to our community. Now I have the honor of introducing our mayor, our mayor. Our mayor's already spoken. I have the honor of introducing our city manager, Peter Zanoni. There we go. Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing? Yeah. Hey, uh, the longer we take to get this going, the better, because we wanted to get dark out here to show you the light. So some of this is planned by our communications group. Yes? Uh, Kylie, I must say, we, we thought it would be great to have a poem uh, for this extreme uh, commemoration, and that poem really was, uh, that poem was beautiful. We appreciate you writing it and being here this evening and reading it to us. And Mayor, uh, we want to thank you, Mayor, for being here tonight and leading the city, leading the city council and the vision of the city. Today marks a significant celebration for the city of Corpus Christi as we gather to witness the grand reopening of the Water Garden. This venue is a very important cultural icon reflecting the values cherished by our community and representing a crucial piece of our collective identity of Corpus Christi. I talked to a young gentleman tonight on my way in there. I had never met him before, but those words I just read are exactly what he told me. He said he hasn't been here for many years and the last time he doesn't even know if he was in high school yet, but he said exactly that, that this piece is a collective identity spot for the city of Corpus Christi. The water garden here in front of us has played a significant role in our community. It has been the destination for numerous events to include things like baptisms and graduations and weddings and family celebrations and many more events that make us a community. Today, we are thrilled to once again announce the water garden is back and it's ready to reclaim its status as a cultural landmark in the heart of the city of Corpus Christi. Now, the, the achievement here in front of us uh, was made possible by, by many events, and, uh, by many persons, I should say, including our city council, both the current one that's here with us tonight and the prior city council that had to take some bold votes on making this water garden happen. So upon initial discussions with the city council, it was determined that the cost associated with fixing this landmark would be substantial to meet what the community wanted. But after considering the cost to the taxpayer, one simple question was raised. And that question was, is this water garden a cultural icon for the city of Corpus Christi? Is it a cultural icon? Is it something that is part of our community that we as people identify with, not as a, a feature or an asset, but more as a people, as this community, this water garden? That was the question. And you know what the answer was? It was yes, by both, council pers both councils. Two different councils had to vote on this. And so we're glad here for those who are in attendance that you see around me uh, who have completed this water garden, the mayor and council that are here with us. Now let me just tell you a little bit about the project scope itself. Where many of you are standing, uh, that is all complete brand new concrete and below it is all brand new plumbing system for the water garden. At first we thought we could use the plumbing that was there, but upon further review we had to replace it all. Also replaced are all the pumps that are making the water display as it is. They're in the over here to my left. All the electrical components associated with the water garden have been moved from what was a below ground vault to above to a brand new facility over there by the American Bank Center. As you look around, you'll notice a lot of new seating and, and modern landscaping. We're surrounded by the American Bank Center, the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History, the Art Museum, and our beautiful Bayfront, all surrounded 
by this cultural icon. And soon, well, we already saw it in the beginning for Officer Hicks, but soon we'll see brand new LED lighting system with countless programmable sequences, patterns, and colors that can, that can accompany the water fountain's water streams. The sequences that we have are, are really unlimited. It's all done by computers, and so uh, we can have lights like we saw on the beginning of the program, blue and white. We'll have lights for graduations for the 4th of July. Uh, we got to see some of these already. One of the best ones I like was the Halloween one. So you guys make sure you come out for Halloween night. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and many more. There'll be over dozens of different light colors that we'll get to see here beginning tonight. We do need to thank our contractor, our design build contractor, a local contractor that stepped up to the plate and, and took this project on. We un unfortunately in this one didn't have a lot of, a lot of persons interested, but Fulton Coscon, one of our local contractors stepped up and said, we'll do this for the city, we'll do this for the community. So we thank them for the vital role they played in restoring the water garden tonight. I don't know if Bruce is out there anywhere. Bruce, Bruce is a project manager. And I'll tell you what, anytime we came around to see how things were looking, Bruce was here working. Councilwoman Compost and I saw him one day. Bruce, but Bruce, thank you uh, to all the folks, all the leadership, all the teammates, all the subcontractors with Fulton, Fulton Construction. Thank you so much. We want to thank also our engineering services department from the city who came to oversee the project construction. And finally, our Parks and Recreation Department, uh, who are part of the project and who will continue to keep it like it looks tonight and even better over the years. Now, reflecting finally over the water garden, let's just think of this for a moment. This is a, a renewal that rejuvenates our community spirit. It's keeping us on the path to greatness that we have been on for several years. Let's enjoy tonight's celebration. Let's appreciate soon the illuminated waters and the bright future that they represent for the city of Corpus Christi. And with that, I'm gonna have Councilman, City Councilman from District One, Everett Roy, come up to say a few remarks. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you that have come out to join us on this occasion. You know, as I look out in, in the crowd and I see a lot of familiar faces, you know, I want to also thank the contractors, the subcontractors that work diligently, Parks and Recreation, city staff, but I must also remember to thank the city council, the mayor, and my council members behind me that stood fast, took a lot of criticism some days, but stood fast in terms of making this happen. Corpus Christi deserves this water garden. We have hard working people that come home and, there's, and they want to have a place where they can take their kids, their pets, their friends, and they can socialize. So I want to start by, I want each and every one of you to give yourself a hand because you deserve this water garden. When I take a look around and I look at not only the water garden, but I look at the other buildings, and I think to myself that this really, if I could envision what a slice of heaven looks like, I think this would be certainly a small corner of it. We're very fortunate. There's so many memories here. This is the most photographed location in the Coastal Bend area. And I'm just so proud that we could make this happen so that we could revitalize this important place so that generations to come can enjoy it. I, I remember my, my children, my wife and I coming down here and having so much fun. And I look forward to coming down here and enjoying it in the future. 
and visiting with each and every one of you. So I want to thank everyone that is here because it's your tax dollars. It's your hard work that helped make this happen. So thank you and God bless. As we reflect on the significance of the water garden to our community, I'd like to invite our council members in attendance to share their perspectives. We're going to explore why the water gardens is important to them and to the city of Corpus Christi. Well, once again, I want to echo everybody's thought, uh, every, every, what's been said already. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Um, with regard to also, I, I think everybody that was involved with this project, it was, there was an emotional attachment to it. I can tell you that from the time Hurricane Harvey um, put us in a position where the, the water garden wasn't available to work anymore. I brought my grandchildren with me. They're 7 and 10. And they have no recollection of the water gardens ever being open. And so now to bring them on here in this area where they can see it, it it's just it's, it's so exciting. And, you know, I, 36 years ago, I don't think the mayor was born <laughs> to when, 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 uh, when this iconic beauty for, this, for the citizens of Corpus Christi. I know many times as, you know, when, when I was younger, we came out here and it was, just, it was just a great place to reflect. Before even the water gardens were born, and I can tell you uh, that were born, they were built, my father, who's long since passed away, he used to take me up on Fridays, and for those of you that are fish on uh, Fridays, damas y caballeros. Well, as chairman, as chairman, the more you talk, the more votes you lose, so I guess that's my time to cut out. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, can you hear me now? Yes, can you hear me now? Yes. Um, I'm one of those peoples that, that, the people that, in the city council that waited for this. Uh, if you check my Facebook page, my name is Sylvia Campos, District 2. And on my Facebook, it's got this iconic, um, bond, this uh, water gardens on my Facebook. It was a vision. I I believe in I believe in visions and I really wanted to see this not just me but the people that I grew up with um, for this to happen and I'm just so grateful that we all came together uh, it's one of those few moments and I'm like yes we were able to do it but as I was researching this um, this architecture, the architect that, did, uh, that built this, his name is Robert Zion. And when I looked up his name, he had written a book, The Land of Architecture with Trees. And I thought, wow, that's a great uh, serendipitous because I, uh, as most people, if you know me, I, I love trees. Actually, the name Sylvia means of the forest. So it's in my blood. And I think it's a sign. It's a sign that, you know, this is um, beautiful because it brings us, all of us together. And especially today. Today is actually Workers' Day, May the 1st. It's International Workers' Day. And I got to give it up to us, the workers. Because after a long day of, you know, doing what we do, it's nice to know that you can come here and relax. Just listen to the sounds and the beauty and what it brings and what it does to the soul. I'm so grateful that we did have uh, Kaylee, is it Kaylee right, that read, uh, read the poem? And um, that we have this kind of, of place. As a matter of fact, when I was telling someone today that, that we were gonna do the celebration of the water gardens, she mentioned, she showed me a picture, a video of the Bellagio in, in Las Vegas, and I've, I've not seen it. So you know what? I don't need to go. We've got it right here. So thank you so much. Uh, again, I am so grateful. Uh, I can't wait for the graduates to come over here, the quinceañeras, the weddings. I'm telling 
uh, Jim to come back and take his beautiful picture with his wife, Teresa Klein, over here. So, anyway, I'll turn it over to Mr. Jim Klein. I'm going to be very brief. Uh, this is just such a wonderful venue, such a wonderful public space, open to everybody here in the city. Uh, thanks so much for coming out tonight. You know, I'm going to reiterate what everyone else has said. I haven't heard this yet, so I just want to make sure to emphasize this to say thank you. Thank you so much for the people who did the actual work here. Uh, it's nice and breezy and cool tonight. I'm sure it was not some of those days when they were working on this, those long days, uh, especially in the middle of the summer. And so thank you so much for all your work tonight. Uh, we've seen the fruits of it all tonight. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. Well, it's kind of funny. This, these water gardens are as old as I am. 36 years. And you know, it has a lot of uh, relatable experiences to all of us, whether it's running in the water when we're not supposed to at a young age, or a first date, or many, many, many pictures with not just the water gardens, but our iconic, soon to be done Harbor Bridge in the background. But I just wanna say thank you all for being here. It's a tremendous audience and it was tremendous hard work put together by city staff, council, and everyone involved. Thank you for being here and y'all have a great evening. Thank you all for your remarks. So continuing, continuing with tonight's theme of reflection and celebration, I am excited to introduce another remarkable young talent right here from our community, Gracie Gonzalez. She is a fifth grader from the Incarnate Word Academy, and Gracie will now read a poem that she wrote herself titled, I Am the Water Gardens. I am the water garden. On this sunny day in Corpus Christi, I see a beaming quinceanera posing for a portrait with her chamberlanes in suits, the harbor bridge soaring behind them. I view a couple in love entering the art museum of South Texas holding hands. I witness a perspiring jogger stop in the shade of my walkways to check her watch, her loyal dog by her side. I hear a content abuelita laughing heartily as her grandchildren play like changuitos on my lawn. I listen as an enterprising small business owner answers an important phone call. I tune in on a mother's lullaby as she sings to her baby, asleep in a stroller in the warm sunlight. I feel a seagull frolicking in my waters, vocalizing its famous ha, ha, ha. I cherish the thump of every step of excited children as they attend a play at the Harbor Playhouse, and I sense a deep happiness flowing inside of me. I smell the salty brisa, blowing towards me from the neighboring bay. I inhale the earthy smell of my freshly cut lawn, and I breathe in the delicious aroma of water burger as a laughing family shares a picnic in the shade of the Salina Auditorium. I taste the cheesy hand of a small nino as he rinses his Cheeto fingers in my cool waters. I savor the metallic taste of a coin that has been tossed inside me with a special wish. On this sunny day in Corpus Christi, I see, hear, feel, smell, and even taste a brand new beginning for the water garden. Well done, Gracie. Thank you. Wow, that was wonderful. I think that truly captured the essence of Corpus Christi and how integral the Water Gardens is to our community. 
So while we near the height of our event, I invite all attendees to explore the offerings of our local vendors. I will now ask Mayor Guajardo and our elected officials to join us at the switch here on my right. And together, we will light up the water garden and officially mark the beginning of the new era of this iconic landmark in our C district. Flipping up. Sorry about your nudge there. I was waiting, I was waiting for it to get done, but no worries, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. for today we will have some live music coming up please enjoy the food drink and enjoy the rest of your night thank you all so much for attending
pendiente están con sus cantos la evocación el aripeo es un festejo que huele a surco y a tradición remedo de la faena más admirada de mi nación bonito es el aripeo y cuanto a su animación yo quiero montar un coro pa' que me mire mi amor upa yupa yu Upa yupa yu. Yo quiero montarle un toro pa' que mire mi amor Ay, ay, ay Sí, señor
Mejor me separaré Por ahí va la despedida Chinito por tus quereres La perdición de los hombres Son las benditas mujeres Y aquí se acaban cantando Los versos de los Team. <laughs> 